orange flowers were just too pretty. I had to grab one. I didn't. I only saw one of those there, so I had to grab it. It's so lovely, and um, it's going to be a potted plant for a while. Outside, I'm going to do a little research and see if it will be able to be an annual or a perennial, and um, if I need to overwinter it or the needs and stuff like that. Because I usually just grow things that are edible or medicinal, and so I've gotten really good with you know, knowing the, all the specifics, but when it comes to things that are just for pretty, just, just for looks, um, I have to do a little bit of research to make sure, you know, like, can it stay in the ground? Is it going to overwinter okay in here? Is it, um, disease resistant? Is it, um, hardy, cold hardy? Is it okay with, you know, direct sun and all that kind of stuff? So I'm going to do a little research and choose just the right spot. But those flowers are going to all go in the front yard where they can really be enjoyed. I live between a couple bus stops. So people are constantly passing through my property. They walk through kind of slowly. So I want something to be really pretty. Something that people can really enjoy. grab a few hyacinth uh, hyacinths purple ones because they smell so great and I will have to plant them in pots in the front yard probably up high um, I might do them along my fence line actually I've got some little hanging containers and then I'm gonna swap them out when they don't look so great for something else and that way I can give them a, some respite from the scorching Sun when it gets warmer um, but I also want to make sure that hyacinth are not where pets can get to them because they are so very toxic. But they smell incredible and I'm sure that the pollinators are going to love them. I just had to get some more orange mint. I had orange mint growing in this like topsy-turvy kind of, like not a topsy-turvy, but it was like a little pot that's on its side and it kind of looked like it, looked like it was spilling the mint out. It looked really cool. Not quite sure how, but it really dried out. So, um, usually mint can survive anything, but orange mint is a little bit more fussy than like spearmint, I think. Um, my spearmint and just like plain common mints, they do really good in the ground and you just, they f you find it everywhere. So you can mow over it and it grows back and it's all good. But the orange mint and even chocolate mint has been a little bit more sensitive. So it's like, yes, it will grow horizontally into your other containers but it's very sensitive to lack of water so it really is thirsty so um, I had to get some more orange mint and it actually smells incredible as I was looking at the herbs and plants I saw a lot of people kind of touching the leaves and smelling them because it's so fragrant it's just totally incredible The produce at Winco is probably the cheapest I've ever seen anywhere. Now, I don't see organic. I'm not sure, maybe they have some. I don't know, I haven't really noticed. Um, but the produce seems to be cheaper than any other store. And I haven't really noticed any of their prices being more expensive than competition like Safeway or Albertsons, Fred Meyers, Walmart. I've never seen anything that was a worse deal at Winco. There might be a few things that they don't have, but I've always seen them having either the same prices or much cheaper prices. So that might be a great place to go. Now, not every deal is gonna be as good as that asparagus. It's definitely worth growing your own because asparagus tends to be very expensive. That deal from Winco was definitely one of their, I don't know, their advertisements kind of draw you in, but it was definitely a good deal.
you see how nicely that ginger is sprouting actually when I was going through the line the cashier I didn't even say anything to the cashier about it she goes did you know that your ginger is sprouting and I was like yeah I actually got it because it's sprouting she goes I love that I love that you are growing your produce so she already knew seeing the ginger sprouting just a little bit what my intentions were and I found a like-minded kindred spirit I guess at the Winco um, as I was checking out kind of hard to find those little suet um, packets and I actually in other videos showed you how I make pine cone bird feeders which is definitely cheaper to do um, it's just a little bit messy and it is kind of nice having the convenience of having the little bird feeders and so I did set them out in some different areas so that the birds don't um, fight I haven't seen any fighting from different species of birds but I want them to know that they are welcome and that they don't have too much competition trying to find some food and sustenance for themselves so I have those out and I do need to go ahead and refresh my hummingbird feeder with more nectar which I got some sugar from Dollar Tree the other day so I've got everything I need I'm gonna go ahead and do that really fast it's probably actually cheaper to buy your sugar from Winco than it is to buy it from the Dollar Tree, but it just so happened to have been on my way the other day. Um, and I'm gonna go show ahead and show you in a different video um, what I did get at the Dollar Tree because there is some cool stuff and I have some different ideas on how to use it. But I did grab the, the sugar, a little bit more expensive buying at the Dollar Tree because you don't get it as much in a single container, but I like the convenience of it. Um, not having to buy a huge thing if you don't have space for it. So the hummingbirds will be very, very happy to have their nectar all refreshed. And um, yeah, they begin their day by visiting the bird feeder and then they also end their day by visiting it. So I wanna make sure I always keep it nice and clean. And even these, I'm going to rinse them out with hot soapy water. And these will be a little tray to put underneath my plant so it can water from the bottom. So it's like getting a free tray, which you normally would pay like two or three of these for $1.25. So like, yeah, upcycling is something I do all the time. So this is going to be for underneath the plant trays, but I need to wash them with soapy water first. On my last Dollar Tree shopping trip, I'll do a different video on that, but I did buy this kit for dyeing eggs for Easter. And my plan is afterwards is to rinse them out really good, melt some holes, and then use them to plant in. So it's going to do what its job, and then I'm going to repurpose them for planting plant starts. So if you see these and you're going to use them, you might want to upcycle them to make your own little planters as well. I think these are cute enough to keep them in for a while, honestly. That is really cute. You could give your kids like a Sharpie marker if this is dry and they can decorate it and that could be a really adorable mother's day gift father's day gift or whatever um your own little decorated pot from your children so that's a cute idea if winco was running for president i would vote for winco hopefully you would too <laughs> I'm being silly. Anyway, everybody, good, be, be good, be sweet, and grow a garden if you want to eat. Also, shop at Winko. See you later.